Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you find it interesting, please subscribe and like the video. And we are starting a new adventure. Today we are going on a trip to the island of Eve, remember the famous novel by Alexandre Dumas and talk of the dark and mysterious history of the Chateau d'If. You can get to the island d'If from Marcel by ferry. The journey takes about 20 minutes. Initially, the Chateau d'If was uh, built as a fort to defend Marcel from attacks from the sea. Construction took place in 1524-1531 by order of uh, King Francis I. And from the end of the 16th century, the chateau began to be used to isolate especially dangerous criminals. It was from then the fort received the name Chateau d'If. The Chateau d'If was built in the Renaissance style. It has three round towers connected by two walls forming a rectangular courtyard. The walls are thick and massive, and the windows are small and barred, which is quite natural for a former prison. Its isolated location and dangerous coastal currents made Chateau d'If an ideal escape-proof prison. The castle became one of the most terrible prisons in France. In the 1830s, the Chateau d'If officially stopped to be a prison, but in 1871, the leaders of the Paris Commune were held here, and its leader Gaston Crémeux was shot in the island of If. The Chateau d'If was turned into a museum in the 19th century, and in 1926, it was given the status of an architectural monument. The chateau gained popularity among tourists thanks to the writer Alexandre Dumas, who wrote the novel The Count of Monte Cristo in 1844-1845. The novel describes the long-term imprisonment of the main character Edmond Dantes in the Chateau d'If. The gate through which we enter is the only entrance to the fortress. It is equipped with a lowering grill and a drawbridge, and we find ourselves in the inner courtyard. In the center there is a well filled with rainwater. Herman Dantes is a character invented by Alexander Dumas, but Dantes' cell exists in the chateau. This is a kind of attraction for fans of the novel. There is even a passage that, according to the novel, was ducked by Ebo Forea. The passage was dug in the 20th century to better match the history described in the novel. Here, an entire exhibition is dedicated to Dumas' novel The Comte Monte Cristo. By the way, Alexandre Dumas, when writing his novel, visited the island and the chateau. Also, Mark Twain visited here in July 1867 during a month long pleasure excursion. He recounts his visit in his book The Innocents Abroad. But Abbe Ferrer was really existed. He was a priest who was one of the pioneers of the scientific study of hypnotism. However, his stay in the chateau is disputed. Most of the names of the prisoners listed in the plaques are associated with the French Revolution. There are graffiti left uh, by prisoners on the walls of the cells.
Everyone knows the story about the mysterious prisoner in the iron mask. There is a legend that this prisoner was also kept for some time in the Chateau d'If. Also, this is not confirmed by historical facts and remains a legend at this moment. And this legend appeared due to the presence in the chateau of a three-room cell equipped with an elevator for serving food. This device has been preserved. The elevator was necessary because no one had uh, the rights to look at the prisoner, even when his face was uh, hiding under a mask. This year in the Chateau Yves was represented an artistic intervention by artist uh, Miguel Chevalier, which used a digital technology to revisit an extraordinary form of underwater flora and fauna. So here we can see it. And this is the cell of the first prisoner of the chateau. Chevalier Anselm was a knight who was incarcerated in 1580 for plotting against the monarchy. And here was a cell of Comte Mirabeau. He was a great figure of the French Revolution, and he stayed here for several months between 1774 and 1775. And in this cell, for some time, was kept Philippe de Lorraine Armagnac. He was the favorite of uh, Duke Philippe of Orleans, brother of the French king Louis XIV. In January 1670, at the insistence of the Duke's first wife, Henrietta of England, the King ordered the Chevalier to be sent to Lyon and from there to the Chateau of Yves. However, he was later released. and some more modern artistic interventions here. This inscription says that the corpse of uh, General Jean-Baptiste Kleber was kept here for 18 years. Kleber was the commander-in-chef of the French army in Egypt. He was in a rather difficult relationship with Napoleon and he forbade that the general to be buried in France. According to one version, Napoleon did not want uh, that the hero's grave to become an object of pilgrimage. The coffin, which had been waiting for its grave for 18 years, 
Charles was transported to Strasbourg only with the permission of uh, Louis XVIII, who replaced Napoleon. A cell for those sentenced to death. Here was Kip brother Valérie de Fini, and he was uh, burned alive in 1588. Climbing the stairs, we find ourselves on the terrace. There is a beautiful view from here. And there is another interesting story connected with the island. The Portuguese king Manuel I received a rhinoceros as a gift. He decided to give it to Pope Leo X and send it to Rome. In January 1516, a ship with the rhinoceros sailed past Marseille. And uh, at the request of Francisc I, the animal was temporarily landed on the island so that the king of France uh, could see the animal. Sailing back to the city, the king noticed uh, the successful strategic location of the island and ordered uh, the construction of a fortress of it. The castle was uh, built in uh, just seven years. That's all for today. I thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in new interesting places.